So now let us see how we can work on the cloud source repositories. So let's go to the Google Cloud Platform. You need to log into the console. You need to have a project created already. If you haven't created a project, you can just hit here and you can go with the new project. Now many services in the Google Cloud Platform will be billable. So you need to make sure that your project is uh, aligned with your billing because not all the services in the Google Cloud Platform are uh, free to use. So they, they may require the billing to be enabled. So we're gonna work on this cloud source repositories. So the first thing first which you need to do is you need to go to this cloud source repositories API. The cloud source repositories API is uh, supposed to be enabled first and then you can use the cloud source repositories. Now if you can see, if you want to access the cloud source repositories, so you need to enable them. So in the meanwhile, this gets enabled. Let's see the pricing plan. So the pricing plan is pretty much free. That's like zero per GB and starting from zero GB per month. But for something like tier one, so you have some another plans coming up. Now, once you are done with the Google Cloud Service repositories, you'll be able to see its dashboard, the overview, so metrics, quotas, and maybe some credentials if you want to use it over the API. So this is done. And now I'm going to go to the cloud source repositories, right? So let's click on the cloud source repositories. So the API and service is different, whereas the cloud source repositories is different. Now you need to uh, navigate into some different link. So that is how when I go with the cloud source repositories, it takes you to the Google cloud source repository. So let's hit this. So you are in the same Google cloud console, but the cloud source repositories environment is altogether a different environment. Let's see what exactly it is. Now here you are with the cloud source repositories. So just like you have been using the GitHub, we got cloud source repositories or if you are working with the Bitbucket, so you might be aware of that it's pretty much privately managed whereas GitHub is publicly managed. Same way, the cloud source repositories, they are uh, pretty much privately managed. So why do you need them? You need them to integrate your CI CD pipelines. And uh, now let's see how we can use it. So let's click on get started. So the very first thing is that you need to create your first repository. So let me say create the repository. Now, do you want to create a new repository that's going to be an empty repository or the other way around is that you want to come up and connect to some external repository. That is like you want to mirror a repository from some uh, GitHub or maybe the Bitbucket account, right? So I'm going to say create a new repository. Let's say continue. So we need to now give the repository a name and I am going to give my repository a name called, so if you see my project here, so the project itself is restaurants. So it's just that um, I have a different spellings here, right? So just a small, let me check if I can just rename it. All right, so we just are going to rename it and uh, hence probably the refactoring uh, uh, would take place. So accordingly, your entire package name and everything is now uh, rectified, right? So small spelling mistake, a typo. Now let's come back to the Google Cloud Source repositories. So I'm going to use the same name as my repository name. If you want, you can even change it. So now you need to select the project ID and I'm going to select my project ID as Ori AI, right? So this is the project where in my Google Cloud, you can see uh, I got a couple of projects here. So this is my project. So we need to use this same project and remember the project uh, to use your project, right? So it may be required that few services should be in the billing environment. Now let's hit create. So in a moment, the cloud source repository is going to be created for us. And here we are. Now, the first thing may be that you would like to push the code from a local Git repository. So the configuration is very much clearly available here that you just need to add 
uh, the git remove add google ssh right and thereafter you just say git push all to the google now if you are using the google cloud sdk with the g cloud you have the different steps and for manually you can have some different steps the other way around is very basic that what you do is you just clone the uh, repository right which is way easier so cloning the repository can be done and thereafter you can change your directory to the clone repository you can add the files and then you can just do a git push hyphen u origin master so let's see